YouTube, it's been so long since my last video. I am finally coming to you guys with the Blue Studio 6.0 HD review. Finally. Like I said, it's been forever. I apologize for that. I unexpectedly found out that I was moving, transferring to a bigger apartment. And so it was around the holidays and I had to literally like uproot everything, pack everything, get over here. It was just... A crazy process so finally I'm settled happy to be settled happy to be back um, I also did not get a camera from Santa for Christmas like I told you guys I was hoping that I would it did not happen and so I was questioning if I should continue making videos considering the quality isn't that great um, I want you guys to have the best and so I was questioning that but then I realized that I have 500, almost 520 um, subscribers. Thank you all, by the way, for subscribing. Um, I have a lot of people who seem to like my videos or can at least stand them um, how they are now. So I decided, forget that. I'm going to make videos for you guys. So I'm back. I'm here to stay. I'm not going anywhere. I will still definitely work on getting a camera. But right now I don't have one, um, so we're still getting videos like this. But thank you for subscribing, and I'm back. So I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to first just walk you around the phone a little bit. And then I'm going to tell you the specs that I'm most interested in when I'm thinking of getting a phone. Um, I'm not going to go into super detail. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment box below and I will answer them for you. Um, there are also plenty of other reviews that really get in depth if that's something that you want. But I kind of just let you know the basics and then I will tell you the pros that I love about this phone after using it for about two months. The cons and just kind of let you know at the end how I feel overall about this phone if it's a good buy or not so I'm just gonna go ahead and get right in first I'll just show you quickly that um, I have the white version it comes in black or white you can't really tell from the front if it is white but it is I guess around the around the um, phone you can kind of see it but not much so it's the white um, version down here you obviously have the mic power button on this side your volume rockers on this side camera in the back flash you got your mic down there or not your mic I apologize your speaker and then your charger port is actually up top and then you also have your headphone jack right there so that is kind of just a look around it I'm just gonna go ahead and get right in and start with the specs it is a, um, or sorry, it is, no. It has a 6-inch screen, which is why it's called the 6.0. Um, it has the resolution of 720 by 1280 pixels. Um, I've really loved the screen size on this, and the resolution has been great for me. It really doesn't bother me at all. You can't really get a great view on here. Like I said, um, the lighting really sucks because it's very late right now. So I have no natural lighting. I'm using the light in my room, which is annoying and bright. Um, and I have it propped up so you really can't see a glare. Well, there is a little bit of a reflection, but you really can't see too much of a glare. And then also, I'm filming on a phone. So it's not the best quality that you can see, but honestly, the resolution is very good. Um, out of the box, it comes with 4.2 Jelly Bean, but shortly after I turned it on and had it up and running, it um, offered to upgrade to KitKat 4.4.2, which is what I did. So it's running on KitKat now. 4 gigabytes of ROM, 1 gigabyte of RAM, and it's upgradable to 32 gigabytes with an SD card, which is good, I think. I mean, that's really all I need definitely so um, that's a plus it has a dual SIM which is awesome that's something that I forgot to mention under um, if you take the back cover off that's where your SIM cards go and also your SD cards they'll all go back there so it has an 8 megapixel back camera 2 megapixel front camera and 3000 megahertz battery which is awesome 
um, get, I'll just go ahead and go into the pros. The pros about this phone that I think are great, obviously, is the price. If you search it on eBay, um, a pretty standard price it's going for, there are ones that are way higher, also a little bit lower, but the pretty standard one is $169, and Amazon, a pretty, pretty standard one is $154. For a phone this size, it's awesome. That's a great price. Um, I love the screen size on this. I mentioned that before, but that is like my biggest pro to this phone is the screen size. I love big phones. It's just kind of my thing, and that's my favorite part about it. Like I said, with that, considering the price, it's an amazing phone, I think. Um, it feels good in my hand. I don't know if you can really see well. Obviously, I'm at a weird angle because I'm holding a camera with my other hand, but it just sits really well in my hand. That's something I love about it. It's just very comfortable sits well so I loved that um, the battery life is awesome on this phone I really really love the battery life um, I haven't really had any problems I'm a very heavy phone user and I normally charge my phone at night and go to bed um, I don't charge it while I'm asleep but I charge it at night and then take it off the charger go to sleep wake up and I can normally use it while I'm away from the home all day come home and then I normally charge it at night like I said again even if it doesn't necessarily if it's not dead or anything I still charge it up because I like to make sure that it'll be charged for the next day but I can normally last a whole day away from a charger um, with this with the battery so that's awesome that's a plus for me and like I said I'm a very heavy phone user um, it transitions so well between apps it's very quick I'll quickly show you some of my home screen options for Buzz Launcher. But yeah, I don't really have any issues with it slowing down or even glitching up very much um, when transitioning through through apps and things. Gaming is really smooth, especially if you do have an SD card. Um, obviously, if you ha don't have very many, very much memory and you have a lot of apps and then you're trying to game, it can be a little bit laggy. But honestly, I, laggy, I don't even think that's a word. Sorry, lag. It can lag a little bit, but um, I haven't had any issues with gaming. I do have an SD card in there, and gaming's been really smooth for me, which is awesome. YouTube plays great on this phone, especially when I'm hooked up to my Wi-Fi. Um, sometimes it can get a little annoying, but that's just really if I'm not getting good connection with like the 4G. It's the 3G, and it's slow, and it's kind of annoying me. That's when, um, the only time I see an issue with YouTube is when, yeah, I'm just having bad service all around. So, YouTube is great on it. Um, the camera works, works good for me. Um, it fits my needs. I don't really need to take amazing pictures with my phones. It's always nice to have a good camera, but, I mean, this is a pretty standard. It's not too bad. Um, I definitely don't really have any problems with how the camera, um, takes pictures I'm happy with it so that was that fell under pros for me um, I'm gonna just go ahead and go to cons cuz that's all the pros I kind of had um, I'm saying I'm um a lot I'm sorry <laughs> okay cons non removable battery that is like the biggest pet peeve I have for any phone I just don't really understand why I can't remove my battery like I purchased the phone I if I want a new battery I should be able to replace it like it's it's a little annoying to me, but whatever. I have now the only two phones that I do have, which is the HTC Desire 816 and this phone. Both have non-removable batteries. I don't know how that ended up happening, but it did. So that's just so annoying to me. Um, but I haven't had really any issues with it, so it hasn't gotten to be a huge problem yet. Hopefully, knock on wood, it doesn't, but it's just a pet peeve. I don't really like that. Um, I have have had it freeze or restart a couple of times, but it hasn't really been too bad. Um, I've had phones in the past that that's happened to a lot more than I've had the issue with this phone. Um, a soft reset fixes the problem easily. I don't have to lose any data, lose anything when I do a soft reset. I haven't had to hard reset at all. So I really haven't had many problems with that. It can be a little annoying, but other than that, it hasn't been an issue. Okay, now my story about the battery. 
<sighs> the battery life, like I said, is great now. And this happened probably five days into having the phone, I think. Five days in, into having the phone, it showed that my battery was at about 26%, I believe. I plug it into the charger, and then within about two minutes, it says it's at 100%. And I'm like, okay, that's pretty impossible. So I took it off and was using it for a while. It was still reading 100%, and then it just instantly dropped down to, I think it was like 15%. And I was like, wow, well, I know that's not normal at all. So it frightened me a little bit, like I said, because there is no non, there is no removable battery. I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be an issue. So I turned off the phone and I plugged it up to the charger for about an hour. I turned the phone back on and I have not had a problem with it since. That happened just one time um, and it hasn't happened. Like I said, I've had the phone for about two months now and I haven't had that issue again. Thank the Lord. But, yes, I wanted to let you guys know that that did happen to me. Um, but it's not a recurring issue so far for me. Um, so that's good. I mean, that's a good sign. It hasn't happened in two more in about two months since I got it. So hopefully it doesn't happen again. I keep saying that over and over. <laughs> you can see I have a worry of my battery going bad and I have to like figure out how to, I have to pay somebody to change a battery. Just, it worries me. So yeah, other than that issue, it really hasn't been that big of a, I mean, it hasn't happened again. So yeah, but let's just move on from that. Cause I just keep saying the same things over and over. I apologize for that. Um, the call quality is not that bad. It could be better, but honestly, it normally only has an issue when I'm like getting bad signal anyway. Um, it'll just get a little bit fuzzy or really, I mean the clock, I mean sometimes you can't, it's just a little bit fuzzy. You can't really hear what they're saying. The reception isn't that great, but I've noticed it's just because the service I'm getting. Like if I'm in a weird area or something. Other than that, it hasn't been that bad. Two other things that kind of just annoy me. They're not a big deal. For some people, they probably won't even care. But one is that you cannot change system fonts. That just kind of makes me sad. I love to change system fonts. And you cannot on this phone. It's not that big of a deal. Um, especially considering I have launchers anyway. So it's really not that big of a deal. But um, just kind of a little annoying. And then also a lack of cases. That is a really big annoying thing to me. I love cases and I love switching them and just having, I just really like to know also that my phone's protected. And I'm um, sorry, I'm moving guys. Just let me move real quick. My foot is asleep and it really kind of hurts. But yeah, it's a lack of cases. I did, I was able to find this case. It's a hybrid case on eBay and I'm going to do a review on it, but I was able to find this. It's not really reading, but it's pink and blue. And it's working. I've had it pretty much the whole time I've had the phone, and it's working. I can't complain. I just hope that they make more because I like to change them up. But, yeah. Um, all together, this phone... Sorry, it's not even in frame anymore. There we go. I would say, for the price, the good outweighs the bad. Um, I definitely would purchase this phone again. Um, I love, love, love this phone. I, like I said, the issues that I had don't even stand to the good, the good qualities of this phone. So I'm really happy with it. I suggest if you're looking for a phone, um, with the size, in the size, definitely go for it. The price is awesome. And like I said, it's really, I mean, I have not had any issues that would deter me from, buying the phone again or telling my friends, you know, this is a great phone. It's an awesome phone. I say go for it. With this phone, since you buy it unlocked, um, you take it to any company that accepts, accepts GSM phones and they'll set your phone up with service with a SIM card. They'll put it in the back for you and then that's how you'll get your service. And also I will be doing a review well, not really a review, but a, just a video on it. But I do have insurance on this phone through a, like, 
second hand, I mean, I don't know what's the word for it, but for an outside um, insurance company, I pay $7.99 a month. So I do have it insured in case something goes wrong. I don't really know. I read the reviews on this company, gocare.com. Um, I haven't had to use them yet, so I'm not, I can't say for sure how they're, how they are, but I do pay $7.99 a month for that just in case something goes wrong because I like to have that little backup. Especially, like I said, if the battery messes up or anything. But yeah, like I said, all together, it's a great phone. I say thumbs up. Um, yeah. And I hope you like this video. If you want me to do a 